welcome back to my channel we are about that breaking cycles right today our sunday song spotlight is a song like you know i was listening to music yesterday and then that song really got to me so i'm like you know what this is a song for today that's usually really how it happens <laughs> or it's a new song that just dropped but this one is, has been in my um my playlist for like over a year now so yeah and it is none other than Jesus Can by Austin French. I'm not sure if you're familiar with this, go and listen to it. I would advise you to go and listen to it. But let's get into the verse. It says, first verse it says, picture this. Like when you're listening to the song, you'll hear this as like more like a rap. You know, kind of like a rap, like a slow rap. Yeah. Then it says, picture this an eight year old kid growing up in Georgia having a hard time with the world that he was seeing. Coming home from school, scared to death, and always wondering what kind of mood his dad would be in. That kind of home can do a number on you. Mom and dad broke up, and I guess I broke too. I grew up, I grew up thinking nothing good could ever come from a story like mine. But let me go into the chorus. It says, who turns a broken dream into a life redeemed? Who can turn your worst defeat into your victory? Who saw me where I was and led me where I stand. My life is living proof that only Jesus can. Wow. And if you didn't figure it out by now, just by the first verse, this is his story of um, how he suffered trauma, right? And this song is for those people that have had trauma in the past. In regards to physical abuse sexual abuse any kind of those any kind of abuse right and honestly the line where he says that kind of home can do a number you number on you honestly it does affect the outlook on life when you have experienced this from a child right and it makes you really question the motives of people and it's understandable right but aren't we glad that there was a but because he says but who turns a broken dream so jesus he's telling that he's saying that when he met jesus all of that went away because jesus started to change his story right and say okay regardless of what happened or regardless of this i'm here now and I am able to do this for you. He can turn, uh, he can redeem you. He can turn your defeat into victory. And who, you know, loved me where I was to the place that I am now. And that's only Jesus. And may we as Christians, Jesus' children, reflect that in the life that we live. I'm speaking to myself as well. You know, may we reflect that in the life that we live, that we love people the way he describes here in the song in the chorus he says who turns a broken dream into a life redeemed we can't redeem anyone but we can point them to the redeemer and who can we can also point them to the person who can turn their defeat into victory and we do that through the love that we give them right and may we love our friends as i spoke to you about with the bible study that you see how Abraham defeat, um, interceded on behalf of Sodom. That's how God wants us, his children, to intercede on behalf of our friends and families that are in need of his love and in need of direction towards him. Okay? And then it goes to verse 2. It says, everybody's got that hurt. They wish that never happened. I surely do. It may not be as severe or or as it may not be as grave as some people but trust me everyone has it yes everybody got everybody's got that pain they wish they could undo but wounds become scars and scars become stories testimonies and when it comes to the story of you it goes into the chorus again who turns a broken dream into a life redeemed who can turn your worst defeat into your victory who saw me where i was and led me where i stand my life is living proof that only jesus can right so you see he's saying everyone has 
something to deal it with. And that's why you know that meme that is circulated. It says, you know, be kind to people. You never know what they're going through. And it's true. Be kind. Be loving. And uh, honestly, regardless of what the circumstance may be, may we always exercise God's love towards others. Regardless of how upset you may be with the person or with the situation surrounding the person, you know, may we show God's love because it's only through showing God's love that we can actually have God, have God truly change us into his image, right? And may we point them to the person, Jesus, who can redeem them, change their defeat into victory, and can move them from where they were to where he wants them to be. That is recreated in his image. And then it goes onto the bridge. It says, only Jesus can save me. Only Jesus can change me. Only Jesus can take me from lost to found. Hallelujah, I'm singing. There's no stealing my freedom. He picked up all the pieces. Look at me now. And then he goes to the chorus and into the bridge. Honestly, this song kind of reminds me of my reconsecration to God. You know, it's a song talking about just meeting Jesus, right? And yes, I've been in the church, told you guys, like, a long time since birth. But 2016, when I met God, when I truly met Jesus, yeah, this song definitely would have been fitting. It, it's fitting now as well, but it's just a reminder to me. It's just a reminder to me of all of that that he did, right? And how he took me to where I am now. Still need working on. No one's perfect. Neither am I. But he has definitely brought me. He has definitely brought me far, and I'm thankful to him for that. So, yeah. Go listen to this song, it's very beautiful. And if you have had some traumatic experience, remember Jesus is able to change any situation or take that story that you had, that trauma, and turn it into a testimony for others. Do not give up on God. If you've already met Jesus and you're probably struggling with knowing or allowing him to live within you, just know that he is there by your side. And even though he may be quiet, <laughs> uh, he is still there. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. All right? My mom always reminds me of this, especially when it comes to my promises. And like God is like super quiet. And I'm like, <laughs> why are you so quiet? You know, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she even reminded me yesterday, she's like, she need my baby, you know, just wait on God, you know, it's not going to happen the way you want it to happen, it's going to happen the way God wants it to happen. Yeah, she was counseling me last night, uh, and then, oh my, yes, mommy, yes, yeah, so, may we endeavor to remember that Jesus is our redeemer and he loves us and he never leaves us nor forsake us and only Jesus can change us into the person we desire to be and that is recreated in his, in his image okay so that's our song for today and then the noisy truck is coming I'll see you on Thursday for Bible City guys bye have a great day Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's encouragement and I hope you guys are ready for the day ahead. Now do me a favor and press that like button and subscribe button if you are new so that we can get more of this positive Christian content out into the world, okay? And I'll link my daily devotional playlist right here and my Let's Talk playlist if you want to tackle some social issues, okay? So have a great day guys. Bye-bye.